already. <coughs> and we are recording. So once again, thanks for hopping on the call. Excited to have you guys. Um, so this is for new coaches and or coaches who have been inactive or just haven't been as active with their business in the last few months and they want to like reinvigorate and get restarted and just don't know how to start. So this is exactly, you know, clean slate for everybody. Everyone is at the same starting point. Um, if you've been a coach for a little while, you're going to have some background on what to do and, you know, language and just how things run and how the team runs. But as far as the training and the steps that I want you all to take, you're all going to be on the same page. So the first thing I want you to do is I want to make sure you've read through that welcome email. And some of you on this call are going to already know what I'm talking about and you've already done it. You've already gone through the welcome email, but I want to make sure that if you use this for your new coaches, you have steps for them to go through. So you need to go through that welcome email. That welcome email provides so much useful information for you. Um, <clears throat> you know, what's your website? What's expected of you? Um, a new coach checklist to make sure that you're getting the things that need to be done done. And that new coach checklist is not necessarily something that you have to accomplish in a day or two days or a week. It's something that should take you three to four weeks to get through. It's not something that I expect you to completely, you know, finish. But the mindset behind it is that if you get done with your power hour, which we'll talk about, you can go to that new coach checklist and say, okay, what steps can I take to further my business and to get myself set up for a productive business? So <clears throat> that welcome email is also going to have a 21 or 22 day training PDF file in it. This is for you to go through new coach training. Um, this is for you to have the training in your fingertips in case I'm not running a group at that time or if you are more of a, just an independent worker and a group on Facebook is not going to work for you, you have the training and you have calls to action of posting on Facebook and tagging me or texting me information so that way I know what you're doing <coughs> and where you're at with your business. Um, so make sure you're checking that out. The new coach welcome email will also have a five day clean eating template and group and instructions and, um, and ways to get that set up in the new coach training. It's going to talk to you and talk you through steps to start the five day clean eating group or five day free group, which however you want to do it. So it's part of that training, but I, I gave you those tools so that you have them right away. So as a new coach, one of the biggest questions I get is, when can I start doing things? You can start immediately because more than likely you have completed a program, you're drinking Shakeology, so you are a product of the product or you're being a product of the product. You don't necessarily have to have this amazing before and after. You can have your before and you have where you're at now, even if it's a week into your journey or two weeks into your journey you've experienced some sort of change in your life that made you even want to coach. So on top of the lifestyle change, you've made the, this decision to help others. So you can immediately start that and you can start that by sharing. And in the new coach training document, there is a paragraph and it walks you through on how to announce this journey of a coach to your Facebook page, to your personal page. Um, so that others know what's going on and what journey you are going to take. Um, <clears throat> so you can start right away. Um, as far as challenge groups go, I always recommend my new coaches to do their first one to three with me, depending on the timing of things and where you're at with your business and the confidence in your business. But definitely that first challenge group should be run with me. And right now, you know, it's end of June, so ours, our next one will start July 13th. Um, so we're starting to recruit for that. We're starting to share with that. So if you're a new coach, you don't have to wait. You can start recruiting for that. You can start inviting for that because you have plenty of time to talk to people and build that connection and get them to order and commit to it by Monday the 6th so they get their package in time. 
So make sure you go through that new welcome email. Make sure and when you get that welcome email, you print off that 21 day or 22 day training and you dive into that as soon as possible. Um, that is such a great tool. And I don't, the reason that I've switched from always running a group and only doing a group atmosphere is because some people enroll in the middle of a new coach training group and I don't want them to wait three weeks before the next one starts. I want you guys to, to get that email, to get that new coach training and to start as soon as you can. Um, and that's really going to help your business. That's really going to also show me who's ready to jump in and who just needs some, some more time and how I coach you and how we work together and how we learn together. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do for July is give you the option. It, I want you to either tell me when we get off this call, just message me and just say, I want to be in a group training or I want to do the 22 day training one on one. This way, even if you've done maybe half of the new coach training, maybe you went through the whole thing, but you just don't feel like you got all you should have out of it. If you, if, if you think you'd perform in a group atmosphere better, message me so that we can get a group going. My thoughts were we could start a new coach training on July 6th. So that'll be this coming Monday. And what that would mean is I, I will post every day, Monday through Friday, and give you a task, give you some sort of tool or tip or script to help you build your business. <coughs> um, I think for this group, I'll probably can, like do two posts today in the beginning, like the first week, because it's the stuff that you probably already have done. Um, but that way we can get to the, the, the meat of the training, and that's inviting to challenge groups and how to talk to people and that scripting and building those relationships and making deposits and what Success Club is and how to get there. So it, it might be a little fast-tracked um, fast in July because a lot of you have been a coach for, you know, two to three weeks. Um, so just message me. I want you guys to have the option, and I think that's what I'm going to do moving forward is just always give people the option um, group or one-on-one -on -one. with the group training or if you're one-on-one -on -one, what I'm going to do is right now we have a team call on Wednesday nights what I want to start doing is have those who are emerald and above um, <coughs> I have a call with them on Monday people who are striving for diamond um, you know if that's something that you want and you're ready for that's a call on Monday but I think what we need to do is take Wednesday night team call and make that for new coaches so that you guys have a safe place to ask questions once a week. You can jump in and you guys can create that community with each other. Um, as other new coaches, I know when I started out with Meg, that was a huge thing for me and a huge reason for my success is because one time a week I was getting on a call with people who were starting out just like I was. And it made me feel a little bit more comfortable asking questions and I didn't feel so alone. Um, I didn't rely just on Meg to bounce ideas off of. I, I relied on my peers and my, my co-coaches co on Meg's team. And that really, really helped um, you know, my growth and my confidence in, in coaching. So <clears throat> we'll make that shift next week. And so that, you know, I'll make that official announcement and get everything situated. But I think that'll really help if we can have a weekly call for new coaches to ask questions about Success Club and to how to talk to people and conversations and how to post and things like that. And um, once you graduate from there, then you have something to look forward to on a Monday night call to talk about how to grow your team and how to focus on coaches and who to look for and how to build your team and build your volume and take your business to that next step. So I think that'll be a really good, helpful thing for you guys as we go into this training group. Um, so like I said, one thing that Ashton mentioned was um, she started her 21 day fix today. It's really hard to invite people to something if you're not showing you're being a product of the product. So it's really important to have before and afters, and I know all of you on this call have shared on Facebook and you, you've put yourself out there, and that is 
so hard. And so I'm so proud of each of you that have done that because it's not easy. Like there are still days where I'm like, Oh, I don't want to post that. But it really does get people to understand your journey and to see your journey and to be a part of that journey with you. And when they're ready to take that next step, they know they can be safe with you because you've allowed yourself to be vulnerable and, and trust them and share that side with you. So they feel safe. Um, and maybe you're not seeing like immediate results from sharing that or doing that yet. And that can be a little discouraging, but be consistent, stay focused. And if nothing else, that part of the business has helped me grow so much in my personal confidence and strength for myself that forget the success of the coaching business. That in and of itself has been a huge thing for my life. Um, and just not even just fitness, but as a mom and a wife and a Christian, you know, a Christian and being confident in that because I started being vulnerable on Facebook and sharing that on Facebook. So, um, so don't give up, stay consistent, but develop those before and afters. So, um, now when I say before and after, I kind of touched on this before. It does not have to be this big hundred pound transformation. It does not have to be this big 20 pound transformation or a 10 pound transformation before and afters can be like, anything. It can be simply, this is how I felt before. This is what my life was like before. This is what I ate before. You know, I lived on fast food. I lived on caffeine. I didn't sleep well. I had this illness. I had this illness. And now through, you know, a majority of you are going to be doing the 21 day fix in Shakeology, I feel energized. I've skipped my caffeine drinks. I you know, have decreased my fast food, I have more energy, I have clearer skin, and those are good before and afters just as much as the physical transformation. Um, so don't forget to mention those tidbits in your posts and in your story. It's not just about weight loss, but what quality of life, how has your quality of life changed? So start thinking about those things because um, those are really important and they're a huge part of your story. And when people start to get discouraged in your groups because they're not seeing the numbers coming off like they would have hoped, you can go back and say, okay, but what about these changes? What about this new feeling that you have? What about this new experience? Or your kids are now mimicking you working out. Or your kids are, you know, my kids asked for carrots today for dinner. And I was like, oh my gosh. But the reason they do those things is because I am adamant on having vegetables for dinner and that never happened before 21 day fix. You know, vegetables are not part of my, I was healthy, but vegetables were not a staple. Um, you know, so through those things and through my journey, my kids at two are asking for grapes and apples and chicken meatballs and for noodles without a bunch of stuff. And Brooklyn just likes plain noodles, you know, like, so those types of things, your niche, new moms, um, you know, moms who are working full time and people who want to be moms, those are all things that are going to start clicking with them. So if you can share that journey with them, if they can see that they can see themselves in you, you're going to connect with them better. They're going to trust you better. So they're going to enroll in a challenge pack. They're going to enroll in your challenge group. And through that challenge group, you're going to be able to connect with them. So your before and afters do not have to be just about weight loss. It can be about this lifestyle change, this confidence change. So don't forget to leave that out. With that said, before and afters, if you have a good before and after, and I know every one of you on this call does, I've seen them, make sure you have them and take them consistently. Like it can be, it can feel kind of vain to take pictures of yourself consistently but when you can show consistent progress and um, you can show people like, look, this is where I started. This is round one. This is round two. You can show the consistent decline or you can show that you've been able to maintain what you've lost. Both of those are really great illustrations of how great these programs and products are <coughs> and how helpful the groups are. So make sure you have those um, 
before and afters. And one thing that I noticed the other day for myself, and this is where this, this coaching helps your personal um, struggles and confidences. I remember feeling a few weeks ago, like, oh my gosh, like I just did not feel good about myself. I was really having a rough week. I felt like my clothes didn't fit. I felt this. I felt like you couldn't see abs anymore. And I was just like not loving it. And I looked back at a picture from February after I finished 21 Day Fix Extreme and I compared it to a picture of that week and they were not far off. They were not like physically different considering my nutrition, how it was and how it was in 21 Day Fix. And when I looked at that picture, it just helped me go, you look the exact same. It's just in your head. It's just how you're feeling. So I'm going to cry thinking about that. Like it, it is a powerful thing to make sure you're taking those pictures so that when you have those moments of feeling like I haven't done anything or I feel gross on myself, you can look back at pictures and you can compare and you can say, this is all in my head. Like I am physically fine. <laughs> like there is nothing to, to panic about. Um, so so pictures are really helpful in so many more ways than just sharing your before and afters. Um, so make sure you're posting with that. So you have before and afters. You're using the pro pro programs and products. <coughs> How do you share with other people? It can be super easy as a new coach and even myself to like want to talk about Shakeology all the time or post about 21 Day Fix all the time and just like vomit it because it's so awesome. But what I want you to do is I want you to post one to three times a day. So if you're not a big poster, then go to one. If you've already been posting on Facebook consistently, then start posting one, two, three times a day. I like to do a early morning. I like to do a mid afternoon and I like to do a late evening, you know, eight to 10. And I, you know, rotate your posts. And I'm not posting about challenge groups all the time. I'm not posting about psychology all the time. Um, but I am posting about my lifestyle and I'm posting about, you know, I'm not taking a selfie with me in Shakeology as often. I still like to take them. They're fun. Um, but not doing that as often. I'm taking a picture of, you know, me walking out the door with my kids and maybe you see like the bottle in my hand or something, but I'm referencing about how this has changed my life in that moment or why it's convenient for me or what it does for me. Um, so, aside from the nutrition and the fitness, I want you to write down, you know, five to 10 things that make you, you and things that people would connect with you about. So being a mom obviously is one of my biggest things that I'm able to connect with people. The second thing is I'm a twin mom because that's a whole separate thing and a whole separate thing of moms. Um, I, you know, a year ago it was runners. I connected with runners. I don't really run anymore. Um, but it's people who maybe don't have a ton of weight to lose and they just want to lose 10 to 15 pounds. It's you find your niche and you find people who you want to connect with. So what else can you connect with them besides weight loss? Um, can you connect with them? Are you a painter? Are you a teacher? Are you in sales? Do you work full time and you're a full time mom? Um, can you connect with them about fun recipes? Are you paleo? Are you dairy free? Are you gluten free? Um, do you ride bikes? Do you rollerblade? Do you knit? Like all those different hobbies that you have, different things that make you, you and start posting about that as well. Start posting and sharing, um, those things and asking questions and giving tips and tools so that they have something else to go to you by and something else to connect with you about and start conversations that way. So it doesn't always have to be about, um, you know, fitness and nutrition, but it can be about you as a person and you as a whole. So make sure you're posting about that as well. And then the few other things I want to make sure you're doing is I want to make sure you're getting on the national wake up call Mondays at 11 a.m. Eastern standard time. They are recorded. They're about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Um, it's, it's really encouraging and they're really helpful. The first few minutes are announcements and things coming up. Um, the second thing is recognition. So going over rank advancements. And then the third is they usually always have a special guest. And that's usually a top coach who has excelled in something this past Monday, Meg, our, you know, my upline, your guys's um, upline and big team 
was on there sharing how she's built her business on social media. So she's on there, she's giving tips, she's giving her tools, she's telling her story. And it's just really cool because you might connect with them in a different way than you connect with me. They might have a very similar background to what you had before. Um, their similar struggles for starting their business. It's just a really good way to connect and to feel part of something bigger and hear from more coaches. So make sure you're getting on that. There is a recording. So if you miss the, the live call, you can always catch the recording. I typically catch it, catch the recording. Um, <clears throat> but make sure you're listening to that. Make sure you're going to start getting on those um, Wednesday night calls. Those are going to be helpful. It's going to be great for us to connect as a team, for you to ask questions and bounce ideas off of other coaches on the team. Um, and then reminder, if you want to do a group coach training versus a one-on-one -on -one training, we'll start that July 6th this Monday. And we'll also start our challenge group as a team is going to be July 13th. So if you are interested in having people join us for that, get on it. The 21 day fix specials are moving from June into July. So all of those will still be on special for, uh, for July, which is so awesome. Um, and it'll be a great, um, way to help people get the fix eight cookbook, which should be out in July as well. Um, so July is going to be a really awesome month. So what I want you to take away from this and, you know, getting off this call, what I want you to do is I want to make sure you have those hobbies. What can you post about other than health and fitness? How can you connect with other people? Um, make sure you're posting about your journey and how it's not just about the weight loss, but what in other ways, what has the program or Shakeology done for you? What has coaching done for you? Even if you haven't made a penny back yet, have you been involved in a community of women? Have you felt uplifted? Have you felt empowered? Are you excited about taking on this new journey? Have you stepped out of your comfort zone and done things that you haven't? Have you focused on personal development and that's helped you grow in certain areas of your life? Um, coaching is not just about the money. It is not about the financial gains for everyone. Um, they are great, but for me and, and my personal story, like coaching has done so much more for me than just financial. So make sure you're, you're sharing those bits and pieces with people about what this has done for you as a coach. Um, making sure you're posting consistently one to three times a day. And then make sure that you have gone through a 22-day new coach training. Even if you are a coach who's been on the team for a while and you – you know kind of the drill. Things are a little bit different. We run things a little bit different. We do things. There's new, there's a ton of new knowledge and new ways to do things. Um, so make sure you're getting that 21, or I keep saying 21, 22 day training and completing that in the group or doing that by yourself. Um, but that is going to be huge for your business. Once we get done with that 22 day training, we're going to jump you guys right into, if you're not already Emeralds, right into a seven day push to Emeralds group. And my goal for you in that push to Emeralds group is not for you to go Emeralds. It's totally fine if you don't. My goal for you in that push to Emeralds group is to take your business, to take your story, to build your confidence to that next level about inviting to coaching. So the first three weeks of this training is focused on getting your Facebook set up, making sure you're learning the base of the basics of the business, learning how to talk to people about challenge groups and inviting to them and connecting with them and asking the right questions. And then that last week, that kind of graduation phase is focusing on coaching and building your story and ways to get to Emerald and ways to build the coaching side of your business in that seven days. And once you've completed all that, at the end of that, that's when we just go, okay, where are you at and what do we need to focus on and where do we go from here? And then we can make a decision together on where we need to go. But um, it's really important that you do the training and you learn because it's hard to advance and it's hard to do more if you're not learning those simple tools and those scripts and learning how to talk to people. So... Um, if you guys are up for it, we can open it up for questions. Um, so all you have to do is just unmute yourself. I will unmute everyone. Um, 
but you can just unmute yourself or you can type it in if you want and I can answer it. Um, but if anyone has questions or anything like that, I'll, I'm happy to answer them. No? Crickets? Hello. There she is. There she is. <laughs> I was wondering, I saw that the wake, next wake up call is, I got an email about a Spanish wake up call. I got that too. And I'm not exactly sure. Um, I got it, but I didn't look at it right away. So 